It's exploding in the wellness industry, but is CBD safe? Our Team 10 investigative reporter Jennifer Castor went to a San Diego lab that tested CBD products for ingredients like pesticides and heavy metals. So what'd you find? Well, the results were actually really surprising. Some of the products were even fakes. They didn't have any CBD in them. As a reminder, CBD is derived from cannabis, but it does not get you high. It's sold everywhere from dispensaries to gas stations to grocery stores, but there is no federal agency agency that's regulating it. We have lots of different CBD products. They come in all forms. Shelby Huffaker is the lead cannabis educator at Tory Holistics in Sorrento Valley. 10 News visited on a Friday at lunchtime. This was the first time that we did a project like this. The bustling licensed dispensary recently conducted its own CBD study to show customers just how unreliable the open market is. We collected about a dozen different products from various locations around San Diego and also on the internet. From places like farmers markets, grocery stores, and the internet. They bought products like CBD lip balm, caramels, creams, and bath bombs, and brought them here. It's pretty busy right now with it being harvest time. Dr. David Morelius is the co-founder of San Diego's Infinite Chemical Analysis Labs, which tests cannabis and related products. People are definitely trying to take advantage of the CBD boom right now. CBD, like THC, comes from the cannabis plant. CBD, unlike THC, does not get you high. It's been praised for claims of health benefits like reducing anxiety and inflammation. Of the dozen samples purchased by Toriolistics, all three from the internet. Did not contain any CBD whatsoever. Not, no CBD. No CBD. Dr. Morelius also said the majority didn't meet what their packaging claimed. Potencies were off. One product had almost 70% less CBD in it than what it advertised. Three of them failed for pesticides, although the levels were so low that they likely weren't harmful. It's kind of a wild west out there. Sally Greenberg is the executive director of the National Consumers League. She says CBD sellers often exaggerate the benefits without the science to back it up. That they, you know, that they can cure cancer or they can treat Alzheimer's or they can treat AIDS. The National Consumers League is advocating for federal oversight from the Food and Drug Administration, which currently doesn't regulate most CBD. In California, the Bureau of Cannabis Control tests CBD that's sold in licensed dispensaries like Toriolistics. You're going to want to look for a batch or UID number. That ensures that we're able to match the testing results with that specific product. The dispensary is hoping the lab results will highlight the importance of researching your CBD before you buy it. Everything carried in a licensed cannabis store is going to have to be verified, vetted by the dispensary that it has gone through the necessary testing. So it is pretty easy to find the licensed dispensaries in your area where you can buy CBD that has been tested by the state. We show you how. Go to 10news.com and look for this story under Team 10 Investigates. In the studio tonight, Jennifer Kastner, 10 News.